patience and to fun. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My friends, welcome to this morning's uh, liturgy. Today we commemorate uh, the memorial of St. Joseph, the worker, who reminds us not only of the beautiful value that there is in all the work that we do but more importantly, in the purpose of that work and how that work gives glory to God, especially that work that brings us to a closer communion with one another, that it's not self-interested or self-centered, but rather it is one to build up the body of Christ, to build up one another. Let us uh, offer ourselves, our hearts, our minds to our loving Father as we begin the sacred liturgy asking him for pardon for those times when we have only thought about ourselves and maybe have turned in uh, and forgotten about one another. Let us ask him that he may renew us in his love. Lord Jesus, Son of Mary, Son of Joseph, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, Son of the Living Father, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, true word and life, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogue in Damascus, that if he would find any man or woman who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now, Get up, go to the city, and you will be told what you must do. The man who were traveling with him stood speechless. 
for they heard the voice but could not see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they laid him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate or drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up, go to the street called Straight and asked at the house of Judah for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He's there praying, and in a vision he has seen the man named Ananias come in, laid hands on him, and he that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources from this man what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And there, and here, Lord, he has authority from the chief priest to imprison all who called upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house, laying his hands on him. He said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized. And when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you people. Go out to all the world and tell the For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and his fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia. and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him says the Lord Alleluia 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 And the Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Happy St. Joseph the Worker Day today, especially to all those who carry his name or who have a, a special patronage under uh, St. Joseph, um, which is all of us, I think, all of us. I don't know, in some form or another, I think all of us are called truly to work as Joseph worked uh, for the good of one another, for the good of building up society, for the good of contributing to society to our families, to our children, to, uh, to each other. Uh, I think all of us have that, uh, that gift that comes from God in His Spirit to truly see ourselves in communion as one. So all of us have some sort of work to do. And I remember growing up, uh, I'm sure all of us at home had chores to do. Um, we were uh, privileged enough to contribute to maintaining the home clean, our rooms, our living room, our spaces in the kitchen, the, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, in that sense, my friends, that's when it makes sense. When we see ourselves as part of a bigger picture. I know that work and the benefits of work um, can be at times... Um, well, we can get a little bit foggy, a little bit lost when we begin to see, hey, I can make money out of this, right? Or, hey, this is becoming lucrative. More people need this. Hey, people really are into this whole sanitizing gel. We can get lost in the profit making. We can get lost in how much there is in it for us. I think that there's something to be said about the readings today, too. We see uh, Saul, you know, very proud to be a Sadducee, very proud to uh, be a member of this high-ranking uh, religious authorities, to uh, receive these orders, uh, and to feel like he's contributing something to the greater good. But I think the biggest good there is Saul. <laughs> uh, to have that, you know, given that authority, right? To have those letters, right? This is who I am. I'm the persecutor. I am the authority, you know. Uh, there's a great sense of pride and a great sense of Saul coming out of this. Uh, forget about God. It's about what I've been given to do, you know, and for whom. All work can sanctify, but work can also be, if we don't understand it, 
if we don't see it truly for what it is, for the good of each other, for the good, the greater good of the whole community, can turn on us. And we can begin to believe that that work is who we are and get lost in it. And aside from everything else, build up so much pride in it, right, that it builds us up falsely to believe that we're so much better than others because of our work. I'd like to today make notice of all those who work for the good of others uh, for the most part, who put others first. You know, uh, today in this pandemic that we're living, there are constant examples of people working for us, the public sector, for us being at service and going to work and while the rest of us have to stay at home, these are people who are keeping the lights on, you could say. And those are the people that we call heroes today. Uh, because many a times they are not just doing the work, but they are uh, facing danger. That sense of communion, that sense of unity, that sense of forgetting about ourselves is precisely uh, participating, as Jesus calls, of his table, of eating his uh, flesh and drinking his blood. It's a communion in Christ because it makes us more like Christ who gave himself, who worked tirelessly every day for our salvation. That communion he gives to us so that we can be in communion with one another. That is our work, my friends. Yes, there is something to be gained, and yes, there is a profit, and yes, there is a means to live by our work, but that's not the focus. We cannot be consumed by the profits, because then we lose focus of the work then it becomes a rat race. <laughs> then it becomes individually, cada uno por su cuenta, ¿verdad? Then there's the fighting. Then there are the divisions. Then there's the breakdown in society. Then there's the stealing and the cheating and the divisions. And then what was once so good, so wholesome, turns out to be our greatest demise. So I like to pray today as well for all of us that we don't grow narrow-mindedly by work, but that to remember that work is always at the service of man. It is to help us build up society, build up each other, build up our families. It's not to replace our time with family. It's not to replace our time with God. It's not to replace society as a whole because we want to live above society. Let us pray that we don't get um, you know, so streamlined into work that we forget the goodness of that instrument that sanctifies us, that uh, contributes to society, that builds it up, strengthens it, and truly makes us look out for one another. It's not just opening business because we miss going to the movies or we miss going out to the park. First, what is the greater good here? How does this benefit or hurt my neighbor. May that always be for us. May that always be for us, you know, the focal point, the understanding, what we do, why we do it. May we have that zealous spirit of St. Paul to um, preach the good news by our work. 
purpose of our work and how does it contribute may we always have that that spirit of of joy and of dedication that saint joseph had for his family and for the community but especially for god how he dedicated himself to whatever god asked of him because above all that is how we contribute to the greater good, dedicating ourselves to God first and foremost. sisters and brothers with eyes open to risen glory we pray hear our prayer God of life hear our, our prayer, prayer God, God of life. life for all who profess Jesus Christ the Savior and Son of God we pray hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer God, God of life. life for all who have been enlightened by the grace of the risen one we pray Hear our, our prayer, God of life. <clears throat> For all who turn from injustice and violence, we pray. Hear, Hear our, our prayer, prayer, God of life. For all who cast out ignorance and fear, we pray. Hear, Hear our prayer, prayer, God of life. For all who foster reconciliation among enemies, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. For all who bear illness of body or mind and those who care for them, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. For all who sleep in death awaiting the eternal vision of the risen one, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. We pray for our intentions as we pray for um, Reynaldo and Jessica Garcia for their needs, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. Let us pray to, uh, for the intercession of St. Joseph, for all the unemployed, uh, so many today in this day and age of pandemia. We pray to the Lord that he may help us through the intercession of good St. Joseph to find ourselves once again building up society, our families, our common good. We pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. We pray to the Lord also for all those who contribute silently to society, especially those who pray for us, uh, those who work in, uh, in undistinguished uh, jobs, uh, for those who work uh, for others who work uh, for our uh, cleaning crews and custodial work and utilities uh, workers, we pray. Hear, Hear our, our prayer, prayer God, God of life. life. We pray for uh, the parish of St. Joseph uh, here in our diocese for uh, its pastor and community. They may continue to grow in the goodness and uh, grow in, in profit of ministry and service to the community, we pray. Hear, Hear our, our prayer, prayer, God of life. We praise you, source of life, for you mend our vision with grace. Remove from our eyes the scale of fear and doubt that we may praise you for the life you offer in Christ, first born from the dead, first fruit of the new creation, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the land and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, a fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you spirit and lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and to be glorified, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the 
blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of eternal blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, O Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one voice, we lift our prayer to our Heavenly Father, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and in your mercy grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen your spirit. It is offered to one another a sign of God's peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold, this is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Communion Antiphon. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through Him. Alleluia. Saint Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, as we conclude our liturgy, I'd like to invite you to continue and be watchful. Today on this first Friday, May 1st, uh, we will be having a special uh, Holy Hour of Adoration. And we'd like to invite you to join us uh, uh, for a consecration, a prayer of ourselves to our Blessed Mother on this uh, feast day of her husband, St. Joseph. Um, and so we'll be uh, posting some prayers at the same time that we will be having the holy hour. We pray that you may be able to join us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and keep you.
Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And have a beautiful Friday. God bless you. Keep you safe and your family.